Good morning, children. This is DCE Mark. I wish I could see your faces right now, but I know Jesus is with us, and in that way we are together. Today's Bible reading, Jesus says three things in John 14 that I wanted to point out. The first, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Then the second verse I wanted to point out, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the third thing Jesus says in this Bible reading, whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So today I want to talk about three things about Jesus. Jesus prepares, Jesus calms troubled hearts, Jesus knows the way. He tells the truth. He is the life. You know, when something bad happens, it's helpful to know people who are prepared, people who are ready for your trouble. This week, we had National Nurses Day. If you are sick or hurt, they have spent many years preparing to help people. They have experience with the hurt that you have. We are thankful for nurses and doctors and all sorts of medical helpers at this time of crisis. They know what to do and who to call, and they can help you figure out what's wrong. Jesus also prepared for a bad thing. That is sin. He told his disciples that he had prepared for them to be with him. He promises to take them and us to the place he has prepared, free from sin and pain. Our Father in heaven has our place ready because of Jesus. What would be a good animal to train to be a comfort to people? He would have to be gentle. He would have to be soft. He would have to be furry and friendly. He would need to be smart and follow commands so he could be a comfort. Do you know a dog like that? Sure you do. It's Noah. We haven't seen Noah much recently because he and his handlers have had to social distance like the rest of us. This is for safety and to keep vulnerable people from getting sick. Do you know what is way more comforting? Jesus is always with us. No virus can keep him away. No trouble can keep him away. He is never too busy. He cares. He doesn't abandon us, but he keeps his promise to take us with him. The other thing we celebrated this week was teachers. It was Teacher Appreciation Week. Teachers know things, so we can know things. Teachers have learned the best ways to teach and to help us. If learning can be compared to a journey, they know the best routes and where to stop along the way. They can teach you the things to avoid and also the things that will help on your journey. Do you know the best navigator ever? Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We can follow Jesus and be his disciple. Through good times and bad, Jesus shows us the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. We have light and life. And we can ask Jesus the specific things we need. We can ask in Jesus' name, praying to God for the things he knows are best for us. Jesus knows us best and loves us best. But there is something else we are celebrating today. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's Mother's Day. Moms know us best. And because they know us best, they love us best. They love us unconditionally. We can let mom know how very much we appreciate her today. Sometimes we do that with gifts we can make or beautiful flowers. Because our mom loving us helps us to grow up and be healthy and love other people. We blossom under the care of our mothers. Do you know who loves us even more than our moms? Yes, Jesus loves us that big. We ask him to comfort us, and he shows us the way. He promises to take us out of the pain of a sinful, uncertain world. That promise is true. We are thankful for the comforting presence of helpers. No comfort dog, teachers, nurses, and mom. All gifts from God. But the greatest gift is that Jesus, our Savior, is the way, the truth, and the life. And he is always with us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me so very much. 
Thank you for mom and for teachers and nurses and even Noah. We thank you for your many gifts, including your word. We love you, Jesus. Amen.